So we are going to build the A-stable multivibrator. First, we want to take the 470 ohm resistor, which is yellow, violet, black, black, brown, and we want to put it from the positive bus here to one of the terminal strips here. To do that, it makes it easier if you can fold the resistor over like that so that the leads are perpendicular to the resistor. And then you can stick this in there. We'll do the same thing for the other 470 ohm resistor. And then we will do put in the 47k ohm resistors. If we look at this one, it is yellow, violet, black, red, and brown. And again, we're connecting from the positive bus strip to a separate row, terminal strip row. Next, we're going to connect the LEDs from the 470 ohm resistor to one row off of the uh, 47 kilo ohm resistor, where we want the flat side of the LED next to the 47k ohm resistor. We'll do the same thing on this side. Next we can put in the jumpers that will be the connection for the transistors to go to the ground or the negative bus strip. We can do this before or after we put in the transistors. It doesn't matter. Those will go to the other side of that 47k ohm resistor, the row next to the row with the resistor in it. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, we'll put in the NPN transistor with the three wires. Those will go in the row starting with the LED, the resistor, and then the jumper wire. And then the one on the other side is inverted because we want the collector to go from the LED and the emitter to go to the negative terminal. The capacitors are added next and the capacitors go from the 47k ohm resistor with their negative terminal to the LED on the other side. So from like row 15 to row 9. And then from over here, we will want to go from row 10 to row 16. Finally, we need to hook up the battery. The battery terminal connector has two orange levers. You pull these back. And you want the wires set up so that the black wire is away from you if the pins are pointing down um, and the holes are going off to the left. Then we can connect the battery to the connector. If we've done this correctly, when we connect our battery, we will have our blinky circuit.